Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Team Archons turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Team Archons turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. <laughs> Radiant Team Pick. Oracle. Team Archons turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Duska. Team Archon's turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team pick. Be 
Master. Radiant Team Ban. <sighs> Team Archons turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Team Archons turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Ten seconds remaining. <sighs> Team Archon's turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Sand King. Radiant Team Pick. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into the Shanghai Major American Qualifiers. We are here with Archon versus Team Digital Chaos, and of course, this is our second game of the series and our last game of the series. <clears throat> Ten seconds remaining. Who will be going home the winner? Who will be going home the loser? Nobody's going home just yet, that's for damn sure. We're going to have to see who will come out on top. If Digital Chaos win the series, they'll win up against Archon and finish the series off 2-0. And of course, that will give them a very good spot moving into the playoffs here. More than likely, anyway. Digital Chaos won the first game pretty handily. Oracle was a big reason why, and they're going to pick it again. 1437 seems to be very, very fond of this hero, and I wouldn't blame him. He played an excellent first game, got rid of a couple of lassos. False Promise is a very good ability. I think that's a very strong reason why Digital Chaos won that first game. They had a rough mid lane coming out. UR didn't have the greatest time in the world. But it didn't matter because they had some great rotations from AUI 2000 playing the Kunkka. Which has not been banned down, and if they want to pick it, they certainly could. But they have the Chen now, which I'm imagining is what AUI 2000 is going to play. He's very, very solid on that hero. Archon will go for the Sand King. They pick up the Tusk for maybe a support, but probably not because they have the Bane of the Sand King. So it'll be the offlane. Jarocop just pick up this one position. So they send me their mid laner for Monkeys Forever before we find out who's going to be playing what. So in the end, DC will grab another hero. Only 54 seconds left of reserve time. Jarocopter's been picked for Archon. And really, I mean, it comes down to... 
five seconds. They had a six minute blink on the Bat Rider last game in the mid lane, and they still couldn't find a way to finish that game off. I guess it's not that easy. They went for a PA instead of an actually really good safe lane hero. And J.O. did not have a great time. He's playing up against the Enchantress, which of course was banned out after that game, and I don't blame them. They also banned out the OD, which has been played very strong. Chaos. Not sure if this is the, the... I mean, they go for the Jarrah after this time around. Like, all right, we're not going to make the same mistake, but I'm not sure it's going to do anything for them because they have to deal with the Oracle. And they're going to have to deal with the Beastmaster Roar. Chen roaming around, of course, is very good. They have good D push, though. I like the Jar Cup pick against the Chen and the Beastmaster for that matter, because Flat Cannon will deal with a couple of these units pretty easily. Chen will more than certainly go for Mecha Duel or Aghanim Scepter, which is, I think, the build to pick up. Unless we see, like, a Viper coming up from Digital Chaos, in which case, then that will be pretty solid. Then. They ban up the Death Prophet. They could have picked it for themselves, but both teams have to pick their mid-hero last. And I guess Digital Chaos do not want to go up against the Death Prophet, knowing how strong it actually is. The only question is, what is Archon going to grab? I'd actually be surprised if we didn't see a Viper pick here from either side. I think Viper's pretty good for Digital Chaos because they have a lot of really good push. He's okay in team fights. They have the best team fight abilities. I mean, they have Jug Ultimate. They don't have, like, the best AoE right now. And that's, like, the only thing is they have Omni Slash and, like, Wild Axes, but that's about it. Maybe Fortune Zen if you're lucky. Archon could grab it. They already have really good AoE, but they're going to go for the DA instead. Radiant DA is not great against viper viper is a very strong hero in that matchup and refraction will fall pretty much immediately because of another toxin so you have to wonder if digital cast will go down the road i guess you could also go venomance but that's pretty terrible don't do that that's a bad hero it's really not good so digital cast in 54 seconds to figure out what they want to put in the mid lane for your war i mean there's a lot of options like I said, Viper is definitely one of them. OD is not, Invoker is not, seconds. Death Prophet is not, Ember Spirit is not. Ember Spirit would have been good. I think up against Templar Assassin. Reserve. Eh, maybe not. I guess Sidelights would kind of own it. I mean, the problem with, with, with Ember Spirit is that he does take a lot of right-click damage. And they're going to go for the Alk instead, which is pretty good against Refraction with Acid Spray. So that's something else. And the range is also huge. They did change the Bounty uh, rune for Greer's Greed a little bit. That's really all they changed about Alk. So he's still actually very strong. We've seen him We've seen him in a couple of different regions. I think in the SCA and CN region, we've seen a lot of him. This is the first time we'll see an Alchemist for the NA region, at least for that, you know, the ones that I've casted. So that's interesting. I, I mean, Alex's pretty good. He's more than likely going to go for like Medallion, Blink, Treads, S and Y. Get a Solar Crest a little bit early too. Alright. Last game of the series, Archon versus DC. The winner of the series will more than likely move on to the playoffs. The loser's not really out of it. I mean, there's not really a loser to the series anymore, I suppose. If Archon wins the game, the series is tied up. But Archon already have a better record than Digital Chaos 2. The smoke will come out. They're going to look for the top rune spot and maybe try to find a gank here in this area. They'll send the boar first and foremost. Archon on the hunt. Yeah. Oh god, Bulba, don't go. No, 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 no. Oh god, they knew that he's there. He's dead. Rock Brush, Ice Shards, Burrow Strike, dead Bulba. Whitebeard gets the kill. He actually broke the smoke. He, if he was up here, if he was over here, he would have had vision. But he was here. And they knew that. And if he just standed, if he just stood right up there, he would have been fine. That's not great. He'll respawn all the way back to the top lane nonetheless. Let me try to get a ward out this time. Digital cast know that this is happening. They gave up first blood and they will try to grab the bottom rune spot. Look at that. <laughs> and our kind of like, no, I don't think so. We're going to get both runes. Good burrow strike. Okay. They get both runes. Archon will pick up both bounties. It's a 66% win rate, by the way, when you pick those up. They did pop up this ward right after this observer was placed. 
And they will just have vision of it. They'll eat it very quick. That's the second time this series that Archon has destroyed a level one ward. They're pretty good at that. Ooh, they pulled a creep for Bulba. That's pretty nice. White Beard and Fluff looking to roam in. Maybe grab a kill here. There's going to be the Forces End. The Acid Spray will fly. Monkeys is going to take some damage, but he'll be okay nonetheless. Or I might be in trouble. They're going to wrap around in the backside here. Wait for somebody to walk up to the high ground. It's going to be 1437. We'll see you later, bud. He's like, oh, God, there's a team here. Brain Sap will go. He'll eat his way through the tree. They actually can't kill him with Brain Sap and Ice Shards. He'll somehow survive, which is pretty impressive. Chen has picked up a Hadouken creep. The Thunder Shock can, or Shock Wave can come out. Missed Monkeys Forever, though. He actually avoided it somehow. They're going to give him something. Maybe a Tango. Pulled Tango. So pretty good start for Yawar. He went for the Grills Greed after the Acid Spray. Ice Shards might fly. He actually avoided the damage, I believe. So he's fine. He also has a Salve, as if he needed that. God, Melt Strike will go. Monkeys has actually got his refraction now up. Yuar is in trouble. Last right click will not fly. Ice Shards were not there. If they had been ready to go, they would have gotten that kill. Ice Shards are back up. Fortune's Zed will fly. Is it going to do enough damage? No, they don't have the mana for Acid Spray. He'll pop the salve now. They wanted to force that out, and they did get it done. Meanwhile, AUI2000 gets the kill top lane onto the Demagoguery. Sand King. Tall Stimagoguery, indeed. Two-minute rune will fly. Maybe we can find a rune for the Alchemist's top rune spot. would be pretty nice. Down bottom, they'll grab it for the White Beard Tusk. Ah, oh, that sucks. I mean, I guess double damage is not the worst thing in the world, but... 1437 getting chased down again by this Bane. It's a solo lane down bottom, essentially, then, for J.O. as well as T.C. And J.O. is doing the better job here. Two last hits for D.C. T.C., rather. Not a great job coming out for this Jug. They're not really giving him much room to work with. Oh, he got a crit. That sucks. <laughs> oh, we were trying to last hit you. get a crit under the tower. God. Unfortunate. I like what AUI is doing, by the way. He's just sitting in the jungle, the enemy jungle. He's like, I can just jungle this way. It's fine. I don't need your help. You are all back up. I believe his bottle is coming out. AUI roaming in, but Fluff is nearby, and he'll drop a ward down. This is Sentry. Fluff can go ahead and just pop that off, and he should. Yeah, I think he knows that this is there. There's definitely... They should definitely dr drop that Sentry ward. This is a lot of damage for monkeys to take. So yeah, he's doing pretty well. I mean, the Alka obviously is, you know, he's not going to deny the CS of the Templar Assassin. But... He has bounty, he's Greevil's Greed. Here's the snowball, ice shards are available, and this is a kill more than likely. Alchemist is gonna try to bottle up and that's gonna be another kill going the way of the Templar Assassin. That's huge. I mean he didn't see that rotation coming in for some reason. I'm not sure why. And he's also gonna miss out in the four-minute room, which is pretty miserable too. Nightmare under the bottom lane. TC doesn't have his blade free. He's gonna buy his boots up the brain sap. Last right click will go and Jay will get the kill. Digital Chaos not having the best start to this game. Again, they had that similar issue just uh, last game. Four minute rune will be a haste rune for you, are. That's not what he wanted. He wants a bounty rune almost every time, probably. Wiper's gonna spot up 1437. Ice shards will just barely miss. Push him back. So if you look at the graph, it is um, almost a thousand net worth lead here early on in this game. Four minutes in, that's very, very good. That's a lot of gold going their way. But essentially, if Monkeys doesn't have Refraction, he has to pretty much play out of the Acid Spray. Tisu will pop up the Healing Ward. He got a little bit of damage taken. He's going to try to pull the Creeper back underneath the tower. Still with only seven last hits. It's not going well. Monkeys going to take some damage as you are. Pops up the Haste Rune. Still level one Bounty. Or Grievous Greed. God, why do I keep saying that? It's unstable concoction, but I mean, monkeys just have refraction and meld. So it 
it's not really that big of a deal. Top lane is going pretty well, though, for Bolt I mean, he's having a great time. We've seen Beastmasters have great starts and then turn that into solo kills before. That was awkward. That was really weird. Meanwhile, they get yet another kill with the ice shards coming with the snowball. Missed that completely. They're actually owning this alchemist. They're really destroying him. And this jug is still not getting farmed. So, you've got to wonder how you're going to get this done, DC. You don't have that much farm for your gen either. He has 70 last 60 boots of speed. It's not like he's going to be a super early mech. The great thing going for DC is Bulbar right now. It's the only thing going well. He's going to have his staff of wizardry. And the first necro book will be done within about a thousand gold or so. For the temple. Uh oh, again, you walk it out and avoid dying. Unstable concussion will get charged up. We'll try to stun and bottle his way out, but he's not going to make it. Wavebeard will fall. He'll at least get some gold going his way. There's just no help happening. Meanwhile, Roar's gonna go Hota. Moo is in some trouble. Last right click, can he get it? Sandstorm will fly. He's got access. No, he doesn't have the mana for it. That's such a problem. Oh, if he had the mana, he would have gotten that kill. But he didn't have it. The Staff of Wizardry was not there in time. That would have helped. Ice Shards will miss. The Silver still coming out. He's got a salve. Brain Zap and Nightmare ready. They'll drop the Nightmare down just to get people in position. They have the Gyrocopter running up there as well. And Bulba about to be out of it. They have Call Down. It's going to go. The Body Blocks and Bulba will fall here. The Rocket Brush not quite connecting. Last right click will go from Bluff as well as Wiper. And they'll get it done. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Jo's pushing into this tier one up at the top lane. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Uh oh. They find another kill on the Yawar. They're looking for AY to death. The Nightmare's gonna fly. They have the Asian Dump Snowball's already been used to the Rocket Barrage. The DC are getting run over currently. J.O. actually almost died of Penance as well as the State of Tormentors looking with the Shockwaves. So they'll actually already have them on cooldown. Shockwave could fly, but J.O. actually is going to salve up into the State of Tormentor might actually just die. They're going to chase after Fluff, but there's going to be Fortune Zen ready. They actually can't find it yet. Maybe they will now. What was going to walk in? They have Roar up. I don't know if they're going to use it. They already have the Boar Slow, which is pretty damn good. The Fortune Zen will fly the Purifying Flames, Axes, and Bubble will grab the kill with the Secondary Axes falling back. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. TC now up to 35 last hit, so he's actually caught up quite well. He has the Iron Talon. Monkey's Brother will walk in, the Blade Fury will go, and TC's gonna miss, sadly. Wall will now at least, get, at least get some time in the mid lane to work with, but I mean, he's got no farm. He has 34 last hits, but he's died four times. He has a Grievous Greed skill point, and it's not doing anything for him. He has 700 gold boots of speed in the bottle. God, they love killing Yuar. They really love shutting him down. That's the right play. I mean, that's one way to do it. They rely on Yawar so heavily that DC actually just can't do it without him. Bobo will have his Necro book soon, so, I mean, that's good. And he's getting close to it. I mean, one way to win the game is just pop up a Necro book, take down a 2 1 tower, and get a couple of kills in the process. But Monkeys is owning on the Templar Assassin. He's got almost his first Mithril Hammer. He has his treads done. He has a full wand on top of that. He's almost going to have an Aquila too if he wants to buy it. He has something sailing out currently. No. There's no reason not to buy Mithril Hammer unless he wants to go for an early Blink Dagger. But that's really, I think, a bad idea. I'm just going to desolate and you're just going to be able to destroy this game. Another rotation, another smoke. J.O. this time here with the rest of the squad. Fluff and stuff is going to pop in the Nightmare. There's going to be the usage of that Chemical Rage. But here goes the call down. The Rocket Barrage. And that is a dead ass Alchemist again. TC will jump in, they'll get the fortunes end off, they'll get the roar, monkeys will fall here, the access spray keeping him down, Buff will fly, they have the access flying through as well, TC does not have it for the Omni Slash, he does now center Conqueror Stomp, looking for Jay, they get another stomp coming up, TC's thinking about it, but they're sitting near each other, so the Omni Slash wouldn't have done nearly enough damage, it is a two for one exchange, the TC is starting to get some semblance of farm, I just don't think it's enough. I mean, sure that sucks, but Jayo is going to have, I think, a... Morbid Mass Flat, who's... He's gonna get the buff of strength for the Sanj, I believe. There's the Necromastery flying for Bulba.
You are just can't handle this right now. He gets shreds, and he's like, well, at least I have that. He needs some more tankiness. Bottom tower I've never seen a uh, Alc with this low net worth at this point in time. At 10 minutes in, you're usually like at a medallion already, plus shreds. And they're going to gank him again, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Roar's Punch will go, Ice Shards, and the Blade Fury will avoid him from taking any further damage. There's the Kila now. They get a kill on the Sand King, though. He's going to not get an early blink dagger. He just picks up his Arcane's no blink anywhere near it. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And so Bulba already gets a kill on the board with that first Necro book, and he's going to have a second one here momentarily. Radiance he can also try to get that tier 1 tower in the top lane. Bottom tier 1 tower is going to go down to J.O. and the help of buff and stuff. What did Monkeys pick up? He did attack. pick up a Mithril Hammer, so that Desolator is coming out sooner rather than later. But we're going to work under the tier 1 tower top lane. He's going to get Cliff. They're going to have a TP rotation coming in from J.O. They still can defend this. The Necro's not there. He has to leave now. The Boars are going to get the tower kill. The Burrow Shrimp will fly and Bobo will fall. They have the Snowball coming in. He's got Roar. The Hand of God will fly, but he's still going to go down. It's a killing spree going the way of Templar Assassin as if she needed any more gold. I guess space created for AUI and UR, who now has purchased up a Gloves of Haste for what is more than likely a recovery Midas. Since our Conqueror Stomp's going to miss, the Unstable Concoction will not go in time. Chemical Rage, and he's going to have to pop it up, and he's going to just, just hit himself with it. Top, tower top tier one tower is going to fall, but they're going to rotate in. Whitebeard looking for an ice shards and maybe a snowball. Warwars pushes on cooldown. They're going to all back away. They have the healing ward. The Sensar Chen army is going to fall here momentarily. They even get a freaking regen rune. Looks like they're going to lose that state of tormentor. Ice shards actually missed, so he's going to actually live. There's the Necro 2. Bobo's got a TP scroll now, and they won't get that tier one tower mid, but it's low. And if they try to find another engagement again, they'll bring it down. How far are they behind currently? Actually, only a thousand net worth. I mean, it was a thousand at the beginning of the game. It went down to two thousand at one point. For twelve minutes, it's still pretty bad. You have to deal with the Desolator from the Templar Assassin, and she's going to start destroying some people. But it could be a lot worse. Hawk will fly through. They will see it here momentarily. Uh, yep, they know this is happening. But I don't think it matters really. They're going to head bottom instead for TC. He's got Blade Fury, but he's not going to get it off in time. The Snowball is going to come through. They even get the Fiends from Falcon. That is a dead Juggernaut. He had 1,000 gold. But here's the smoke coming out from DC. They've got Roar. Bubba's going to have his usage of that acid spray. They all have instable concoction. Bubba's going to walk in. Monkeys is in trouble. No refraction going. Roar will catch up. Grand Ice Shards to keep him out of the way. But the Purified Flames will take him down. And here comes the Burrow Strike. They get the False Promise off the heel from Chemical Rage. will go through. Snowball to chase even further. 1437 False Promise. Two dead, and now AUI will fall next. Double kill for J.O. Whitebeard will almost go down. He actually kills one of the crews, but it's a triple kill for J.O. They lose T.A., they take Roche. I'm sure they're fine with it. The only one living there is Jawar, and that is almost game, I'm sure of it. That has to be. Well, I guess that's not true. It's not bad early on. It's not that bad. Jawar survived. He's going to have, at the very least, a medallion, or not a medallion, rather, a armor pretty soon. And there's the Roche. Aegis will be picked up by J.O. They would rather give it to the TA, but nonetheless, he will take it. TC was not there. Had he been there with an Omni Slash, that point maybe goes a bit better, but he died down in that bottom area. He'll try to pick up a Bounce Rune instead, which where there is a side trap here. They could probably slow him if they wanted to. Decided not to. So Monkeys will go down. That's a bit unfortunate, but I'm sure it's not the worst thing in the world. There's almost a mech for AUI 2000. All things considered, this game is actually not going as poorly as you might think. Almost a 4,000 worth lead coming up for Archon. That's really not that bad. I don't know if DC can really afford a 1-1 one -one here. I guess they can if they beat Boy Boys 2-0. In that case, they could just, they'll be fine. They'll make it the playoffs, but they'll be in the second spot instead of being in the first spot. Obviously, they do want a 2-0 here on Archon, but... I mean, that's what happens when you gank an Alchemist five to six times. You're eventually going to lose the game. The game's not over. I don't want to make it seem like it is, but it feels really difficult for them.
Dyer's top tower is under attack. They're gonna find Ho to W, aka Mu. They drop down the Necro Warrior, but guess what? It's not level three. They don't get vision with it. They will try to push the top tier two tower. Meanwhile, this is happening. Mid tier one's going to fall, and they'll push you into the tier two more than likely right afterward. Yeah, maybe not. They're gonna CP up. That's gonna be monkeys forever looking to try to stop this push, and they'll back up smartly at the right time. And notice the push is not coming in. AUI 2000 has already picked up his mech. Another TP coming in. They use that blade tree to TP out for TC. He has his Omni Slash still level one. A couple of heroes converging on mid right now for Team Archon. Jay was going to be one of them. They have the Tusk with a Blink Dagger at 16 minutes. It's a support Tusk, by the way, that has had a great time. Whitebeard having a great game. There's the smoke. San just picked up for Jayo. He actually has his Yashi too if he wants it. SNY this early on in the game, plus the Helm of the Dominator. I'm not sure if you need anything else. They also get the Blink Dagger. They're going to wait for the Courier to send out the Blink Dagger up at the top rune spot, top area for Moo. Uh, Moo. Down bottom, 1437 in the back. He's going to sit near the side shop. Monkeys will continue to farm with 2,000 gold in the bank as if he needed that Blink Dagger. He's going to buy it right now. We'll look up high ground here for Archon. TC is going to sit at the Ancients. Bubble will be with him. Just about getting his Necro 3. He's the only one really doing anything at this point. Almost done for you, are, And I mean, he can catch up with the Grievous Greed, but it's going to take him some time. Every creepy gains about 100 net worth. Mid, Snowball's going to fly. Oh, that will go. is going to get in stand up. He does hit the Ancients. Look at that false promise go with the... Nightmare coming in. They get the agents with the purifying flames. And then Fortune said, by the way, jumping for monkeys is gonna try to kill all of these creeps. They'll get at least the Dark Troll Summoner. Age is down, and I don't know if you keep pushing. Archon might have to back up as the tier two tower is gonna get threatened here by Yuar in just a second. He's getting there, man. He's starting to get back up. DC are not out of this yet. TC sitting at 1,400 gold. He's still a third of the net worth right now. They're not that far behind. 5,000, but it's starting to curb. They do have an Aether Lens for Archon. They're starting to get these big items up. They have a Blink as well as the Desolator. Jo has an S and Y. But they're not that far behind. This Ancient Stack will help relieve some of the pressure put on them. Down bottom, they'll get some extra last hits coming up for the Alchemist, who's now up to 7.3. Every minute he gets farm freely, he closes that gap. The top spot of the, the net worth. I mean, it's like getting, essentially, he gets two last hits for every last hit he gets, every last hit he gets. So he, it's, eventually, he will get the most net worth in the game. Unless, you know, they just lose outright in the 16th fight, which they're going to smoke up. They're going to head towards mid. White Beard is in this. They see him with the Sentry. They're going to pop the Fortress End, the Purifying Flames. He's going to Snowball. Uh, that'll be into one of these creeps. So blink out. Ice Shards will block his way in. That was a sick play. He should have died there. And White Beard lives with a Blink Dagger. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And now they're going to try to find a fight off the back end of this. And TC needs to leave. They pop up the side trap. He's got Blade Tree. He doesn't want to use it yet. And here comes Monkeys. But he's alone. Top tower is under attack. Pop up the Unstable Concussion. The Sanj is there. Jo now looking to chase a pie ground. They'll blink forward. There's going to be the Unstable Concussion. Fly for the Blade Tree. They drop the Sentry. And here's going to be Mu dying. They pop the Hand of God. The Mech will go next as well. There's the Roar to Jo. The Snowball will save him. Fourth is dead. Up and a bluff and stuff. Wars punch. Whitebeard might be in trouble. Bulba with the Crips is going to work. Monkey picks up a double kill. Whitebeard will fall. Unstable Concussion on the other side. They'll grab another one. There's the Omni Slash. Four dead. They're turning it around. And Monkeys, the last to live. He pops the Fraction. Blinks to the low ground. The Aspray. He'll try to TP away. And he will make it out, luckily. But still a great fight going the way of DC. Sure, they lose to Chen as well as the Oracle, but that's just both their supports. The Junk gets 1300, the Alk gets 700, and of course, the Beastmaster gets 713. Beautiful fight going the way of Digital Chaos. 3.5k, now up for TC. You are sitting at 1700 after, I think, picking up another item. No, he still has just Assange. What a great fight. The Necro 3 comes into play. Great fortune zen to start things attack. off. Boy, do they blow up some heroes there. And that puts the game back into about only a thousand net worth advantage for Archon. And that is an SN wide now done for you are.
Roughly right around the same time that Jaro Kafka got his. Jaro has one more item above him in the Ogre Club, but he's actually even in net worth. TA now trying to get maybe towards the BKB. You get a BKB early on, and I think you're going to be all right, but... TC is going to go for the Battle Fury, so they'll have right click. I mean, he only really needs the Voice Stone now, and they'll have a full Battle Fury completed. That's it. He's caught up. Alba has a blink now. They're getting the items. The only one that doesn't really have an item is 1437. He's going to go ahead and I think pick up a Glimmer Cape. The Bane has one. The Sinking is a blink dagger. He's also going to got to go for a four staff next. Battle Fury almost there. You are down bottom. Continues to farm up. <laughs> Nineteen hundred gold after picking up the S and Y. And there it is, battle fury done at twenty minutes. It could have been a lot worse for the jug. A huge item pickup. He's got his level two omni slash on top of that. You are maybe looking for a blink dagger next. No, but down this game, they're looking to take the tier one tower bottom. As shards will sail through, Necromastery has it in her Necrosex or Necro Book. God, I can't even think of the name. It hasn't even been used yet. Monkeys will go ahead and clear the group wave out. Meanwhile, the top lane Fluff is going to go ahead and sit here. Maybe waiting for a Chen creep to come out and just he'll take that down. But this is going to allow AY to get some extra farm going his way. He can always recall with Holy Persuasion. Wait, it's test of faith. That's right, I forgot. I thought it was holy persuasion, but it's test of faith. What's the AUI's item? Ags, maybe? Get a point booster now. He's 1400 gold. Ags would be so good this game for him. He really actually just needs level 2 ultimate. I mean, the heal uh, would be up to 300 instead of the 200. Heal's not great right now. He really needs that level 2 ultimate, actually. Monkeys picks up a Moon Shard. Got it. Just slightly greedy. I mean, not super unusual. I mean, it kind of is, actually. I thought he would get a BKB. They see Moo. He knows he's been spotted. He'll blink away. Civil Concoction will get charged up, but, well, he'll just heal that off with Chemical Rage. telling you to throw it? Dyer's bottom tower is under They keep going. There's a lot of heroes here for Archon. What's TC's next item? SMY? Manta? I don't think he needs a Manta. There's no silences. Mm. And it only really helps the side blades. SMY might be the better option. Or we could just go like. I don't know. Somebody needs an AC though, that's for damn sure. Maybe Alk? Desolate is a big problem. Chen's not getting it anytime soon. Maybe Bulba? Has he bought something? No. I guess he really hasn't farmed that much. Doesn't have a Midas, which is also kind of an issue. There's the level 2 ultimate now for Chen, and he also has 2,000 gold. He could buy the AC. I think he'd also get a Vlad's too if he wants to get some extra armor going his way. I would not mind a Vlad's. There's the BKB for the Alchemist, by the way, so that's what he decided to go for. Pretty tanky, too. A lot of magic damage is still, I think, the essence of their draft for Archon, so... Unless he gets caught by a Brewer Strike into an Epicenter, I don't I don't see him having too much trouble. Tim and Fury, that's whom. Roche is up, by the way. They know that it's there. They have the Hawk scouting things out, and they also have the side trap here. So both teams have a pretty good understanding that Roche is up. Do they have a smoke? Mm, yes, they do. But there is an observer ward here. They need a sentry to place down. No, 1437, it's not worth it. This is very sketchy. How did they not just sentry this right now? There they go. B 
BKB done for jail. This is going to be the time they fight. They're going to smoke up and head maybe into the Roche Pit. There's the gem for the Bane on top of that. The Hawk. They're going to see it. They know this is up now. They know this is happening. And they're going to start making their move. But it's going to die very quickly with Meld, with Refraction. Look at how quick Roche will go down. They cannot get in the pit quickly enough. And it's going to be there. As Bulba will jump in, they get the Aegis though. And now Bulba's in trouble. Gotta get the Ross. Monkeys will lose that Aegis immediately. And Bulba's about to Bulba. Great false promise coming through. Still in trouble. Now the Hand of God can be out. Genuine trouble. Omni Slice brings him down. No buyback. The BKB is done. They pop the refraction. They get the kill on AUI. Two for two so far. Moose still has that episode. He used it already. No. TC gets it feebled up. Live 3 will fly. The Axis will fly as well. Comes the unstable concoction. They'll float on monkeys. Monkeys get snowball saved. Still in trouble. Axis prey. They'll bring down one on both sides. They lose the out. Now the burrow strike. Both will fall. Four for three exchange. Triple kill for TC. He's going to buy a blink. He's getting chased down by Whitebeard, who's got Flink and Walrus Punch ready. The TP comes through. And still on the hunt is the Sand Team. They've got the first strike. They're going to find it. TC's in trouble. The Ice Shards, the Snowball, they'll get a team wipe. They get a double kill for Whitebeard. And if that Aegis had not been there, that fight would have gone the way of DC. No doubt about it. And so Archon will get the better end of the exchange. 1,887 gold. And a lot of that goes the way of Whitebeard. He gets up to 3,400 right now in his bank. The snowball saves were excellent. The Aegis was super useful. He even now gets a Chrysalis. The Alk will go down. The Jug picks up a Blink Dagger before dying. And he's almost going to have level 3 ulti as well. The Chen Heal came through. He's going for that Agon Scepter, unsurprisingly. He lost his Chen Armory in the meantime. No tier 2 towers have been taken this game, and it's going to be a little while before we see any further action. Wish fulfilled. Look at that Moon Shard and the freaking Chrysalis. He actually does so much damage. It's insane. Bowman now looking to get the Vlad so he can get some extra armor going his way. He's not that far off. He actually just needs the Morbid Mask, I believe, and the Ring of Regen. Wait, hold on. No, no Ring of Regen. He just needs the Morbid Mask. <laughs> Fluff will go ahead and take this bad boy. I'm just pour down with this gem that he's picked up. You are now back up to 2,000 gold. He's only a little bit behind the gyrocopter, but the TA continues to be a thorn in their side. This is a huge game for DC. A serious win here would mean a lot for them. A tie for Archon would almost certainly cement them a spot into the playoffs. I don't even. I'm pretty sure they both already have a playoff spot pretty much secured up. I might be wrong about that. Let me check. Actually, I want to. I want to check. Let's see here. Hmm. Lead Wolves is sitting at three points, and their last series is against Leviathan. If they two owe them, they'll they'll be up to five. Leviathan is almost certainly out. And Void Boys, I'm sure, is almost certainly out. But Elite Wolves do have two points. That'll get them to five. So a tie would get four points for Digital Chaos. All right, so essentially, if DC tie their last series, and, they t and Archon ties this series, and Void Boys win, or uh, Elite Wolves win their last series 2-0, then we have a three-way tie, I believe. I might be wrong about that. I think they might have actually, I think DC and Archon might have both beat Elite Wolves. No. DC won one of them. Archon two owed them. Yeah, I think tiebreakers would be for the second and third spot, at least. I'm not sure. For the second spot. I don't know. I don't know how it actually works. Well, let's get back into this game. Monkey's Forever almost has his BKB. Jo has had his for a while, and he's already going to get to a butterfly as well. 
TC will send some of the Hawks to scout things out. Bubble will have his Vlad's down done. Do they have him in Assault Cross? No, they have a Glimmer Cape up. Axe is kind of close for AY. He could buy his next opponent uh, for it. And then, of course, it would be only 1,000 interaction, 900 gold away. Meanwhile, Monkey's TP the top lane. So if they find something, DC are in a very good spot. However, they might have just walked under this ward and smoked it. And I'm pretty sure that's actually what happened. They, like, smoked kind of, like, here. And I'm pretty sure this ward scouted things out. They placed it right as they smoked. And then you can see exactly where Arkhan are sitting. They like they know this is happening. They also have a Lotus Orb on uh, Tusk, which I think is pretty damn good. AC maybe for the Alchemist. He can also go Mjolnir. He already has the, the uh, Hyperstone though. Well, they're not at top tier too. Axe for the Sand King. Oh god, no Aetherlands though. But Axe is really good too with the Scepter. 1300 range, which is disgustingly strong. It's pretty much two times that of the original ability. How do they not see this? Like, they have a sentry there. That's really bad. That sucks. That's actually, they placed that sentry down beforehand, and then they put that Absorb Ward right after them, like, they don't have vision, and so they don't know that there's a ward there. That's really, really bad. Top tower is under attack. That's very bad. God. They need a hawk over there, man. They're setting the hawk, like, elsewhere, though. That shockwave didn't get a vision. I said. Regeneration. Invis rune for a flop flick in and maybe find something and set something up. And it is the AC for you are. He's gonna complete it right now. He's gonna get the last component. And he's still in second net worth. The axe is done, I believe, for Chen. No, he's he he doesn't have that third component yet. He's close though. I could use a gem, by the way. This has been scouted out. It's a butterfly, I think, fully completed. No, not yet. It's close, though. Oh, it is a fully completed butterfly. I actually need the... Uh, what you call it? Tower is under attack. They walk up without smoke. This ward might have seen them, I'm sure. TA backs away. That would have been a huge kill to get that. Is that a Manta? It is, wow. They're gonna need some MKBs. That's for damn sure. Maybe. I mean, TC might not, but everybody else will. We've hit a wall, everybody. It's gotten a bit boring. Hey. There's that mantis done for TC. It's gonna sit in the courier back. What's Roche up? We'll Minute, roughly. Send the hawk over there. Ooh, I like the side trap. It's gonna give him vision of the, the hawk walking in. Yep, that, that one did anyway. I actually think DC are in a very solid position right now. They sure they're down about 4,000 net worth, but they have a Manta now. They have a Battle Fury. They've got a Blink on TC. They have an Assault Cross, which is very good. They just need to get Roche. They have a gem now, I think, on Bobo. Yeah, they do. And they need to smoke up and head over to Roshan and take that bad boy. They have the Aghanim set for the Chen, so that's a 30 second cooldown. And you can get an Ancient with it, which is now a Granite Golem for them, which is a huge pickup. <laughs> you 
And here we go. Roche is being taken down rather quickly. This is probably theirs. There's no way that DC are contesting this. It just takes so little time for them to kill this damn thing. He literally jumps in and he does a melt strike and right clicks and he just it kills it in five seconds because he is a Daedalus. So what exactly are you supposed to do on DC's side? How are you supposed to deal with that other than getting there early? And they clearly don't feel the same way. They, they don't want to fight right now. They're like, well, let's just avoid as much as we possibly could. But they're going to lose 50 towers out of this now. They have the Granite Golem. They're even going to get an Ancient Thunderhide for Frenzy. They're going to, you know, resummon everything. Radiance Middle Tower. And here goes the Tier 2 Tower. And DC might have to deal with the push now. Or kind of like, okay, well, we're, we're pretty much as big as we're going to get. Let's try to push high ground now. At least they're going to try and attempt it. There's the Lotus Orb. Fortune Zen will go. Actually use it on to 1437. Might have faked Edict him. I mean, Monkey still does take a lot of damage. He might have to just use that BKB sooner rather than later. And they actually are going to have to back up. Like, they can't push. They know that. The Acid Spray, the Armor Reduction, the Axes, even Fates Edict and Fortune Zen and Purifying Flames are too strong. We will pick up an Aghanim Scepter, which is pretty dirty. The Burrow Strike range is absolutely nuts. Got a Ghost Scepter for Fluff. He's actually... Now he has the Aghanim Scepter, okay. Double damage rune might be what they're looking for. I, this game has just felt so slow after the last, like, 10 minutes. Like, look at the graph. What's happened? Roche and a tower. There's nothing, nothing's happened for 10 minutes. Nothing. What is somebody going to do anything? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. God, this TA is freaking stacked. Link BKB boots of travel dataless desolator. All she needs is a uh, six item. Butterfly, maybe? I don't freaking know. There's the MKB, by the way, that I was talking about. I mean, they have the damage. They can bring her down. They have an Assault Cross. They can chew through Refraction with Acid Spray. There's ways to kill her. But if she hits you, you're going to die. I mean, I guess you, you just, like, Fates Edict her, maybe? I'm pretty sure you Fates Edict her and hope that the Refraction is down at that point. And then you just right click her to death. Like that's what you have to do. I mean, there's really good right click. You have a Beastmaster with an Echo book. You have a Jug with an Omni Slash and right click of a God. Like you just have to fate to Edict her and hope that she doesn't have a fraction up. And here we go. The push is gonna come. Up to the high ground we go. The tier three tower in trouble. There's that fate Edict, and yep, there it goes. Black Cannon, and this tower is gone. Rose Strike will come in. They're going to look for somebody. There's the Roar on the Jail. Gets the BKB off the knee. Monkey Forever does have that agent skill. The Call Double Fly. Good Snowball. Monkeys might lose his life. Gets Nightmare for a moment, but only a moment. Here's the Omni Slash Jail, as well as a couple of us are going to fall. They get the Epicenter off. Now you are in trouble. Monkeys will lose the agents. They don't have the damage to bring him down. Monkeys will BKB. Blink away. Blink further, actually. He gets the jet from Bulba. The buyback comes out of the shower copter who's gonna box in. No more BKB for monkeys. They don't have buyback for Bull, but they're gonna hit the racks now. That might have been the fight. Archon had too much in the bank. They had too much in the bank. They're gonna go to work now on this set of racks. TC doesn't have a zombie slash. They cannot defend now. They do not have the Oracle. They cannot disarm her. They're going to lose one set of racks. They might lose two. There is a top tier two tower. If they try to fight here and they die, it's game over. 
on simple concoction. Gotta get primed up. They're gonna throw it. It's gonna hit on the monkeys. They'll jump in. They pop the mitts out. Good throw strike. They get the Lotus Orb off. And the monkeys is getting chased out with the Blade Fury. They can't quite bring him down. Pops up the bell. They need vision. They don't have it. He blinks away. On simple concoction. Gets thrown. Monkeys will go ahead and dodge it. Well, not really. I mean. He's getting belled up. TC sitting right there. The Blade Fury is going to fly. He's a little too far. The Acid Spray will go and Monkeys will get out. They're still chasing him down. They need vision. They don't have it. Wilbur is finally alive, but he's still back at the base. Monkeys will TP away. He's going to get out. They know that he got out as well. And Digital Cast will go straight down mid, it looks like, and try to take down the Stitchy Tower with Bulba defending back at the base, who does have Boots of Travel. He now also has a, a set of Dyer's Dust as well, attack. which they really need. Structures are Here we go, the Stair 2 Tower gonna get lifted up. What will TP in? Will they keep going? Or they just want to get maybe some extra Dyer's gold going their way? They're gonna smoke up. Here comes J.O. They pop up the BKB for UR. War comes out on a J.O. False promise will go as well. UR trying to stay up and alive. He's gonna go to work. Fluff is dead. Gem on the deck as well. They're gonna get healed up. Maybe the right click not really there. Back to full strength as UR going to work. They get up a mini stun. Now the epicenter coming out. UR in trouble. He might fall here. He's healing up, but it's not enough. They lose the jug. They lose UR. They're gonna lose AUI as well. They get a double kill for J.O. They're gonna lose four. Bulba the only one to live, and he barely gets out alive at this point. He'll pop up the haste rune. Buyback coming out from one. That'll be on your war. But now it's time for Archon to go back down mid and fight once more and take this game. It bubbled over until nothing else could happen. And now Archon are just moments away from winning and tying the series up one apiece. That's EP coming in now. For Monkeys Forever. Burrow Shark all the way in. Your water cannot afford to die, and it looks like he will. A die that comes up for him. Jug bought out as well. Now there's this huge Beast Grip coming out. They pop up the Omni Slash, doing literally no damage. And TC will get Walrus Punch and right click down. That is it. The series is over, and Archon will tie it up at 1 1. One point going to each side. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. We'll take a quick break. I think we might have a second series coming in. I might actually um, have something else I need to do real quick before we jump into that next series, which is going to be... Uh, hold on a second. Power... Excuse me. Power of friendship versus complexity. So, with that, stick around, everybody. We'll be back real soon.